now we shall see the step by step design procedure for actually loaded compression member first calculate ultimate actual load to be registered so that ultimate load to be registered will be evaluated using uh, equation of stress assume suitable triangle trial section for single and double angles assume design stress as fcd is equal to 90 newton per mm square and for i section it is 150 newton per mm square these stress values will be dependent upon the section used because uh, sections particular sections will have high uh, stress capacities so if an angle section is used it is it will resist a uh, smaller magnitude of load if i section is used it will resist higher magnitude of load angle sections are usually used uh, in truss members and in truss members uh, they will there will be relatively lower values of compressive forces induced i sections will be used as compression members for columns okay so columns will resist or columns will carry higher magnitude of load so for columns if you want to design it as compression member you should select i section or channel section if you want to design a truss member as compression member you should select angle section okay this is the difference then calculate the effective length of column depending upon the conditions these conditions are usually given or you should assume okay either they are given or you should assume then compute the slenderness ratio and check as per is 800 2007 fourth step is a little bit lengthy okay next then check the buckling class of cross section and select proper buckling class a b c or d corresponding to selected buckling class obtain design compressive stress fcd from appropriate table of is 800 2007 so for all classes these buckling stress values have been given the allowable compressive load is equal to fcd into gross cross sectional area check the design compressive load and compare it with applied load to be registered so this compressive load should be more than applied load to be registered this load is usually given in the